next song. Um, when I auditioned for this earlier in the year, I actually, after I got it, I had this dream, like the following weekend. This is a true story, I swear. And in my dream, I was uh, performing at Harkness Chapel, and I started to sing this song, except I did terrible. I forgot all of my words, I, I, I couldn't get the right pitches, I couldn't sing high enough, it was the worst thing I had done in my life. And then afterwards, I was like, oh god, and some guy came up to me, and he was like, so, um, I'm really important, and you can never sing that song again. <laughs> I was like, oh god. That's not good, please, please, just, just give me another chance, give me five minutes, I, I can go, uh, I can collect myself, I'll get my act together, and I'll come back and do it right. He was like, okay, fine. So, I went outside, I was like, what am I gonna do? I guess I'll go ask David Bowie. <laughs> so I launched myself into outer space, and I, I fly like like light years light years away, and I come upon a halo. I've been playing way too many video games at that point, but uh, for anybody in the audience not familiar with the concept of the halo, it is a large planet-sized bomb that can destroy universes. So um, I land on that, <laughs> and, and, and I'm looking around, I'm like, David Bowie, David Bowie, where are you? And then all of a sudden I hear the sound, and I, I go into this field, and, and he's sitting there, he's, he's crying, and I'm like, whoa, you're David Bowie, why would you be crying? He looks at me with his beautiful, tear-filled eyes, and he says, I'm sorry, it's just, I just lost the game. <laughs> Look how they 
Thank you.